Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to make a little jig so that I can check the alignment of the fence on my table saw. A few days ago when I was cutting some wood on the table saw, as I was pushing the wood through it seemed like it wasn't cutting parallel. So today we're going to check that uh, and if the fence is out of alignment, all fences have an adjustment on them that you can readjust them, so we'll do that. But first of all, we need to check it. Now you want to make sure that the table saw is unplugged for the next thing that you're going to be doing. Now the blade on a table saw is always aligned to the miter, but we're not going to do that today. It's very seldom that you'll ever need to align a blade or the, the inner workings. Um, when they're set up from the factory, um, it's very, very rare that they would come out of alignment. But the fence, that does come out of alignment from time to time because of all the movement back and forth. So today we're going to make a jig to check that. And if you're new to this channel, uh, I invite you to subscribe uh, and to click the little bell icon next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So here's the parts that I have. Of course, there's the little uh, dial gauge. I have some a piece of plastic and it will fit in the slot like this. And I cut my own. Uh, it's very simple to do. The one thing I do want to make sure, I want to check to make sure that it isn't higher than the table and this slides nicely over it. I also have um, uh, this screw on one side and bolt on another and I'm going to put that into the piece of wood here in a moment. I have some um, flat screws that I'm going to be attaching this to my wood and I also have a couple of very tiny little screws and I'm going to be putting them into the edge and that's so that I can adjust this so that it's perfectly aligned. Right now these are always a little bit on the loose side and make them that way on purpose um, but for this I want it to be just perfectly snug so you can actually adjust them with this. There's this little lip on here and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to off camera, I'm just going to get a chisel and just kind of cut that out of there. Uh, I might even try doing something with a, a Forstner bit. There between the chisel and that Forstner bit, I was able to get that in there and you can see that's nice and tight right to the wood. That's just where I need it. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to make a circle in there to where I can put this into. Now before we get started on this test, I want to show you something with this piece of paper. I'm going to put the piece of paper between my gauge here and the fence. And I want to watch, I want you to see how far that little gauge moves. Okay, I've put the paper behind the dial, so it's between the dial and the fence, and I've centered it, put it on zero. Now watch when I pull the paper out. That moved one, two, three, that moved four digits. Okay, I've set the dial on zero and basically I want it to go backwards this way. So I want the dial to come this way as I want it to come down. I want the fence to go that way. And there's six marks. Okay, that was six marks. Let's try it one more time. I'll reset the fence. 
Okay, and I've reset the dial to zero, so let's watch it one more time. And it wants to go back this way. There's five, six, okay, it's almost seven. Six and a half. So basically, the fence is is aligned. Uh, so the difference between here and here is about the thickness of a piece of paper, which is, uh, I thought it was off a little bit, but it's actually uh, as, as close as we're ever going to get it. Okay, so my fence is aligned. When I was cutting something a few days ago, I, I felt that it was off a bit, but it's, it's apparently just fine. Now, there's lots of ways to check the alignment of your fence. The other thing that you can do quite quickly is use your miter gauge and some feeler gauges. And you can get these at any uh, supply store, any um, automotive supply store. And basically, you just set it up to a distance that's so far from the fence uh, like that and then you can run it down and just check it on the end. Now I can't do that with mine because there's a bevel on the end of my miter gauge. Most of them are flat uh, so you could do that uh, and there's other ways you can make something similar to this just with wood with a stick sticking out here and measure uh, front to front and again using um, feeler gauges works just fine. The conventional wisdom is to have your fence a little bit away from the blade so very minuscule part which is what mine is rather than having it absolutely perfect end to end and mine is almost perfect end to end but it does move out just a little bit the worst thing you want is to have your fence going the other way and the way you can tell if your fence is out of alignment is when you're pushing wood through and the blade is coming out like this. If you can see wood chips coming out of the back side of your blade, it means that your fence is too far over that way. In fact, it's actually dangerous to work with that because then your splitter and your um, um, riving knife down here, um, you could be off enough that it's going to be jamming into that. So you really want to make sure that your fence is aligned, not only for good cuts, but also for safety. Well, and for me, uh, that concludes the video. I now have a much more accurate way of measuring my fence, and I know that it's aligned. I can plug it back in and be assured that all my cuts are going to be straight and parallel. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Keep on watching. i got lots of videos coming.